Hey guys, the hat. Yo, go get a new hat. She's a bit floppy. Right, ready? Yes. G'day, g'day, g'day. Good morning. Well, um, we've sort of headed north from our last little spot we're at, which is down Harvey Bayway. But we've pulled up at the Calliope River Rest Area. And I'll tell you what, we love the bush, don't we? We do. Love being in the bush. From the beach to the bush. You can't beat, sorry, you can't beat that. Not that, that, that is what I'm talking about. All right, you, that's just absolutely beautiful. Um, where's she gone? She's hiding behind me now. So yeah, you can't beat that water. We are right on the edge here at the Calliope River rest area on the south side. How's this for our front yard? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What do you reckon we might have a swim later, eh? We could do that. We could do that? A bit fresh, but we could do that. Oh, it'd be bloody beautiful. Oh, we'll do that. We'll come back down later on and have a bit of a swimsy, I think. This area on the south side, there is heaps, heaps of room. But you must be self-contained, apparently. There is a toilet block here somewhere, apparently, but what it's like, I don't know. Over there's some toilets. Toilet block up on the hill over there apparently. Just doing a bit of a walk around the uh, camping grounds. And um, this is coming up on the old bridge now, which is the old Bruce Highway. Uh, there is also rubbish bins here, over there. So, but take, take your rubbish with you. If you bring it in, take it out. The old bridge, which separates the north and south side of the uh, Boyne, but on the old Bruce Highway. You can't drive over it, obviously, but you can walk over it. If you have got a boat, a small boat, they've actually got a boat ramp here. Woohoo! On the bridge, the old highway. This is this is the old Bruce Highway Bridge. And in the background there, you can see the new one. That's the new one up there. Well, it's been around for years now, but look at this. These little rock pools down here, we have seen people swimming in them. You can do fishing here, there's probably barramundi or anything here. So we're just walking up on the northern side now. We're going to have a bit of a... Northerly look. Northerly look? A northerly look. Have a look at the upper class. Yeah, the upper class. The upper have, class to Pilate. Because it is on a higher ledge on the northern side. Um, but, I mean, the only way to access the water is actually back down this road that we're on at the moment, where, where we are on the southern side. We're actually right on the water edge, which is bloody brilliant. Normally we would camp on the northern side, but this time we decided we'll go to the southern side for something different, and I'm glad we did now. Just be aware, the northern side is strictly self-contained camping only. Um, we do believe, last time we were here, the toilet block up the back up there um, was out of bounds, it wasn't working. Someone apparently filled the toilets with concrete, apparently. So the toilet block is out of action still. So you must be self-contained on the north side. So that's the bridge walking down from the northern side all the way to the southern side. Enjoy this moment. Oh, there's an eagle that just lands on the beach. So that's that's us just there, right on the beach. Love it. Location, location. And that's looking down at the southern side. Look at that. That is beautiful. So that's the northern and the southern sides of the Calliope River rest area. Um, something different, but yeah, the water here looks beautiful. So there was talk, we saw a sign back there, Michelle found and pointed out. So behind us here, apparently there's whirlpools, um, and there's been a few people die apparently. There's a big sign, I'll put the sign up here that I took a photo of, but apparently there's been deaths or something, so there's no council signs as such, but um, what are you doing? No, swimming. Anyway. Sign language. No. What? 
doggy paddle, never doggy paddle. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I don't have much truth in it, but it, it's on the both ends of these signs saying that no swimming on that side of the bridge. As there's whirlpools, people can get sucked in the water or something, so I don't know. But why would you swim on that side when you can swim? Hold on, hold on, dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Look at that. In that. That's so where we're going later on. We're going to swim down We prefer there. that side. Yeah. That. The other side. Just the other so. side's all rocky. So. so yes, tick, tick, swim. Tick, 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 swim. No, not on my face. That was just nasty. Nasty. Anyway, right up. What are we cooking up today, dear? Roast pork, my love. Roast pork, yeah, we love our roast pork. Roast pork, roast veggies. Yep. Corn so on it's the all. Cob and it's gravy. all happening. It's all happening. But anyway, um, what I wonder, <laughs> what I want to do is, as you can see behind me here. I've got the uh, compact campfire going. Now listen, get yourselves out there. I'll put up a, a link here somewhere. All right, get yourselves one of these compact campfires. All right, the reason being is, that compact? to me, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Nice and tidy. Now, have a look what's behind here. Put all this shit on the floor, sorry my language, but someone's had fires going and they just leave all the coals on the floor. All just, it's not even in a pile. Like, even with these compact campfires or any sort of above ground fires, you're still going to have coals and ash. I understand that. But it's called dig a hole. Dig a hole and bury your coals and ashes. That's what it's all about, guys. You know? Somebody wants, say somebody wants to put a tent up. You can't put a tent there now. Because you've got all that garbage sitting there. So just, just do yourself a favour. Do everyone else a favour. Look after what we got. I mean, where we are at the moment at Calliope River Rest Area South Side, look at our view. Hey, and it's free. It's yeah, free. It. We love it. Anyway, that's me ranting for enough. Back to what we're doing. How's this for my cooking view? Kitchen with a view. Gotta love it. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Um, I don't actually use timber coals on my camp oven. Um, yes, I know some people don't like these camp ovens because they're cheap and nasty, but I've learned how to use it properly. Um, and it's light to carry in the caravan. I've still got a cast iron one in the van, but... We normally use two from time to time, so we've got a light one and heavy one, and I can do me roasts in this pretty good. But anyway, the coals we use are Matador Premium Charcoal Briquettes. Now these I just buy from Bunnings. Um, I can't remember what they were worth, about $19 for the full box. Um, but they're pretty good because what they are, are actually a long, I don't know whether you can see that in there. Hang on, let's get one out. They're actually a, they're actually a long brick, and you just break them up into small pieces as you want them. I normally break them up to like you know 60, 70 mil long. As you can see on top of the camp oven there, and that's what I use. Does it get any better than this, Mr. Whippy visiting us here at the campgrounds? Whoop whoop! Dinner's done and dusted. Had our roast. Oh, it's bloody good. Another great roast again tonight. Hi. Um, but no, yeah, just uh, the day is over. The sunset is setting. Um, you got to see it in the background there somewhere. Yeah, the sun's gone down a bit there now. So sorry, I was checking out the moon. The moon is up and out. But, uh, we'll just go for. A, we'll go have a bit of a walk in the, um, the river. Going to go do water. Get into the walk. I'm just going to get my shoes. There's quite a few people here <laughs> tonight, actually. So uh, it's sort of here she goes. It's being funny. Look where you're walking, don't trip over. Look where you're walking Careful down the edge, Annie. But, um, no, it's actually quite nice now. The, so the sun's gone down. And there's been a few uh, people putting their boats in here, actually, and a few crab pots and that. I saw a couple of young fellas today, and they've um, got a couple of crabs, I reckon, so they're pretty happy. And kayakers. Kayakers and boats. Something floating down there. But no, very nice place. Uh, this is the Calliope River Rest Area. Absolutely. Got yeah, it. Something's climbing all over me. Um, settle down. Oh. But anyways, as I was trying to say. Pickle it. Right. Me tricked you. She just had some chocolate, so she's on a bit of a sugar hit at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, it's absolutely a beautiful spot here. Um, and it's free. So yeah. just look after it. So we got to do, eh? It's a gorgeous place. Um, Close to Gladstone. Yeah. What? Twenty, 20 minute minutes, drive. Yeah. About yeah, twenty minutes driving to Gladstone. We ducked into Gladstone today for a bit of a drive, but um, just a, 
Oh, somebody wanted a new hat, so... Yes, my hat was a bit sad. But, my yeah. opinion, the lower half is better than the upper half. So the south side is where we are. Yes. Otherwise, north side, that's it up, up there on the edge, on the ridge up there. That's pretty busy, actually. It's pretty packed here. Mm. A lot of people just coming here for the night, passing through. Where this south side is a spot where you want to go if you come down for your 48 hours stay, two days you're allowed to stay, 48 hours. Oh, and Mr. Whippy comes through, that was a bonus. <laughs> Mr. Whippy, you'll, you probably would have seen that by now, Mr. Mr. Whippy. Whippy. No, Could, we didn't get any Mr. Whippy, we were cooking roast it. pork, so. We were cooking the roast at that stage and thought they can't have ice cream before we did. Oh, I could have, but yeah. Yes, no. he could have, but no. So no, that, was no, a bit, no. that was a bit of a spinning up, that actually see Mr. Whippy come in here, so. That was good. Hey, look, if he's making money, why not, you know? But look, as I say, if you're um, looking for somewhere, honestly, this is a beautiful spot. It is. And um, yeah. All right, well, um, we might chat to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Well, we just had breakfast and we thought we'd come down for a walk back onto the bridge because the tide is in. So the water is now running the other way, obviously. So I just come down for a walk before we actually pack up and head off today. We're on the move again today, so I've been here a couple of days, about our 48 hours. But down here was where all the rock pools were. Um, they're now covered with water, obviously, because the tide is in. And on the other side, you can see it all. The water's flowing, beautiful. And our morning walk. So I go back to camp now and um, pack everything up and get on the mode again. Uh, See what happens but this is our little camp area here it's been a beautiful spot stay here for free for 48 hours there is amenities we didn't check them out please bring your water there is rubbish bins but if you want to take your rubbish with you that'd be brilliant good spot Thanks for watching and don't forget hit that like and subscribe button and follow us as we find our next ultimate lifestyle adventure. Cheers guys.